Hello everyone and welcome back to an episode of the Wind Waker HD and what am I doing right now? What is this? Oh god, this game has such glitchy animations when you fuck around with it. Oh my god, what am I doing? What is this? Oh my god. Alright, this is weird. I'm, I'm walking but I'm crouching and I'm, oh, this is just, this is just weird. This game has some weird animation issues if you fuck around with it. Alright, cool. Anyway, yeah, welcome back to Wind Waker and we are somewhere we were not before. How did we get here? We walked here, of course, with our with our two legs. We were born with them. It just, it just you didn't see it. Well, all you did was walk here. So yeah, like I said in the last episode, after we defeated Ganon and his awful, horrible puppet people, we're leaving here. Fuck you. I don't care about saving the world. I don't care anymore. Ganon, I don't give a fuck. Destroy the world if you want. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my life, all right? No, nope, but uh, we're gonna go uh, do stuff we haven't done yet, just because why not, huh? Why not? There's a bunch of stuff we miss doing. It's not that important, but why not do it anyway? We have no magic right now. Those goddamn puppets drained me of all my magic. Now I gotta go find some pot to get the edge off, you know what I mean? Alright, uh, where should we head first then? Since there's a bunch of things we can do that we haven't done yet. Well, now that it's nighttime, we may as well go finish that little girl off. That sounds kind of wrong, but whatever. Windfall Island, where the wind does not fall, it actually rises in the air. Alright, to Windfall, we teleport with our tornado magic, we go. Off we go. We're gonna go and kill that little girl. I mean, what? Nothing. We're not gonna kill little girls. No. That's not That's not the life I'm about. No. Are we here? Back again. This time's not fuck it up, alright? We'll do it the right way. Like, actual good people. We're gonna be the best ninjas who ever were. And not fuck this up. Or there she is. She's hiding right there. Waiting for her moment. How many, how many times have you tried this, man? She's tried, like, every single night to rob this guy since we left, man. Why do you even want to rob him? He, he doesn't have that much money, probably, because all he sells is flowers at this point, so we never did a side quest, but whatever. Are you gonna go? Do I have to talk to you first? Shush, shush! No, I don't want to shush. I talk a lot, and I love to talk. All right, go do your thing now. Oh, there she goes. She's doing her thing. All right, this time, this time, I'm gonna catch you in the act. I'm gonna hide behind this pillar. You can't see me? Right, you can't see me, really. Come on, man. You can't. You can't see this guy behind this pillar right here. I am invisible. Who's that? Nobody. <laughs> All right, cool. She still. She can't see me. Somehow. All right, cool. Keep on going. Keep, uh -oh, uh oh. I forgot she stopped here. Uh, go back out. She can't see me. Good. That's right. She's robbing that place because she needs glasses. Yeah, that's right. Keep going. Just try to avoid her. Freaking bump my head right into a fucking pole. Amazing. Or can you stop stopping? Come on, there's no one out here watching you, I swear. There's nobody hiding that bush right there watching you. Totally, trust me. Touch, trust the talking bush man when he says no one's talking to you or following you. Come on, talking bush man's trustworthy. That guy's still there, just dancing a storm away. Weirdo. Alright, oh, here we go again with this. Alright. Oh, there she is. Crouch down. We got Oh! Nobody, it's a bird. That's what a bird sounds like, according to Dickle P. According to Dickle P, that's what a bird sounds like. He must not hang out with birds much, man. Alright, uh, unless that wasn't, wasn't a bird. I have no idea what that impression's ever supposed to be. Alright, ah! Oh, almost got caught. But I didn't get caught. Alright, I'm gonna caught you. Instead of you caught me, I'm gonna caught you instead. Alright, oh. Oh, 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 oh. How do I get, like, uh, her? How do I do this? Oh, come on. Do it. Speak to her. Yes, I caught her in the act. So her catching me in the act. Catching her in the act. Catching me in the act. I don't even know what I said. Yeah, you started me. What do you want? Why are you robbing the flower guy? The guy with many accents. Why are you robbing him? You didn't have that much money, man. Why don't you go rob the guy who took your house, huh? My, my heart's racing. You scared, you scared me. All right. Wait, are you? The guy creep goes around by scaring people? That's plain mean. No, it's not. I love scaring people. It's fun. Just try it sometimes. Just don't you think you are anyway? I'm Dickle P, and I say you cannot rob this guy because I want to rob him for myself, alright? An ally of justice! That's right, I'm an ally of justice. A what? An ally of justice? Yep. I'm here to throw you in jail. That's what you get. I'm not a thief, I swear! I haven't stolen anything! Well, yet. Please let me go. It's an impulse. That's all. Just a bad idea. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll let you go this once. But I'll see you ever here again. I'm gonna throw you in jail. 
Why are you say anything? Does mean you're mad at me? Yes, I'm mad at you. How dare you think you can go around robbing people even though I robbed my entire town at the beginning of the game, but still. No, I'm the only thief around here. Can you at least listen to my circumstances and the life that I me at this moment? No, I don't care about your circumstances. Oh, look, I had a tough life and all that crap. No. No tough life justifies turning into like a giant thief asshole or anything. No. No one cares about your circumstances. Own up to your own decisions, alright? Please, you owe me that much. I don't care at all. Quiet, you! Fives, listen to your sob story or whatever. I was one of the richest little dubbuts in this town. Did you know that? I did know that, I think, right? Wasn't that your dad in the front? He was once rich once, and now you're poor, dirt poor. Ha. Huh? One day, a monstrous bird came and took me to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress. When I was locked up in Hell Cat, it was so awful. My father spent every last ruby in a conference and attempted to get me rescued. Well, you shouldn't have done that, man. You should have spent all his money. I know he loves you and all, but now you're now you're dirt poor and have no money to like, provide for yourselves at all. That's right. Every last man of family fortune. Gone. All right, but how how did that other guy get rich then? The other guy, the poor guy. I don't know. How'd he get rich? How, how'd that happen? That's my life of poverty began. But every day from morning till night, I'm busy working with the open air shop. So you can see, at least I'm trying to sell to my poor lifestyle. All right. No, it's not really selling. You're trying to rob from your owner, you know. I mean, not your owner. <laughs> you're not a slave, probably, right? You're, uh, your boss. Did that talk to your heartstrings? What do you say about your tragic life? I don't care about your tragic life. You make your own decisions based on what you do, right? That's terrible. That's kind of funny. It's kind of ironic, to be honest. You rent for being the richest girl in town, who pour shit and have to rob to get by. I probably have to say that's terrible, or you'll... Or you'll stop be or so you'll stop being bad or something, right? I still can make bad words. For some reason, I still can't forget the slob Maggie, who's the poorest girl in South Town that got rich. Maggie of all people. What? You dissing all Maggie? What's wrong with Maggie, huh? Who cares if someone else is rich, man? You can't hate so much because of your own situation, man. Be happy for them. They're rich now, all right? Be so mad that we're gonna do something terrible, girl. Well, stop with the envy, girl, man. Come on, don't be envious just because you're poor and now she rich. I say it's karma. You acting like a bitch to her and now she rich. Do you understand my plight? Not really at all. Not at all. Uh, very well, I guess. Sure, why not? Then you'll let me go? Uh, fine. Unfortunately, no. Uh, fine, I'll let you go. If you stop being a bad person, do it. Fine, go, leave. Bye. She's probably gonna be back here tonight and rob the place again. Right? Did I? I didn't even get anything out of that. Was that a total waste of my time? I believe that was, and indeed, a total waste of my time. So, what was the point of that? She, she just ran away, didn't give me anything. Well, that, that was a waste of my time. That, oh, well then. Let's go see how those people got rich then, alright? Let's go ask them how they got rich. Alright, this is a huge waste of time. Maybe we should just fought again instead of wasting our time doing this, huh? Again, slowly, just waiting for us. Like, where the fuck he went? I wait for this guy to get here. Just fucking ran away. Just watching little girls walk around. Steal people. Steal from people and all that crap. I Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello there, sir. You that halt. Oh, it's a wretched street urchin that he's a postman. Hey, okay, now this guy's rich. He's acting all high and mighty now, like the last guy, man. Be thankful you want the postman to shoot you out for what he asks you to say. Boo! Why don't you like the postman, huh? You got crippling debt or something? Don't want to see that crippling debt or something? Hmm? But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have you met, met someplace? Yes, we have. I rescued your daughter. Now that you're rich, can you give me your award, please? Yes, we met somewhere. You don't remember me? Oh, great. Getting all big and rich don't remember the little, the little people. How pathetic. Oh, hi. Oh, to think I was surviving this ordeal turned to my own town. Yeah. Why, why do you have bunny ears? Why, why do you have bunny ears? That's just weird. I didn't think I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, unpleasant house. It's like a dream come true. It is a dream come true, I guess. You got, you got a little something on your face right there. You need to take care of that. It's a mole. I guess rich people usually have moles, so I guess you're, like, fitting in pretty well, I guess. Mm, but no. No, it's a nightmare. Without him by my side, it's like my ra a rainstorm rages in my heart. Who's him? Who's that? 
He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Forge, a sweet boy, gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from- Oh, that's how you got rich. Someone in the Forsaken Fortress was slipping you jewelry, alright. Is there anything that lifts my spirits? Mo, the one of a moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, a moblin? What? Wait, where are moblins again? Are moblins like the fat dudes? Oh my god, it's kind of disgusting imagining that. Did one of those fat, those thick butt pigs give you fucking jewelry? What? Oh, Mo. Why, Mo? I was always riding hard for the last feel of my overwhelming emotion. But why don't you answer me, Mo? Because I probably killed them, to be honest. Because, like, slaughtered everyone inside that place. So, unfortunately, your boyfriend might be dead. Sorry. Ah! What? This is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I've already drifted off to my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Can you take this letter I finished in equaling to the post box for me? Why can't you do that yourself? You're too rich to do your own stuff, man. Oh, look, these rich people. Turn into fucking lazy bastards. You just, like, do all kinds of crazy stuff to provide for yourself. Now you're too damn lazy to walk down the fucking mailbox. Fucking rich people, man. Please, I beg of you. Why can't you do it yourself? Fine, whatever. What? Really? You're such a deal. You made Maggie Pie so happy. All right, I'm totally gonna do that. You got Maggie's letter. That's a letter from Maggie to her sweetie, who I probably murdered in cold blood. Ha <laughs> ha. Keeping your delivery bag till you find a post box to drop it in. I'm probably never gonna do that, because I don't care. The post box, don't you dare forget. Be you promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are shared only when she so desires. All right, cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, nonchalantly do this. Don't mind me. Don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me right now. I'm just gonna do this right now. Is that one doing? What? Oh my god. Link, stop being a goody two shoes and read the letter, man. Come on. Read that dang letter. What's wrong with you? Dickle P is so weird sometimes. Sometimes you'll murder monsters in cold blood, rob everyone in his town, but you won't read someone else's mail, man. He got weird morals, alright? He got some weird morals. Alright, fine. Let's go down to the post box, I guess. Why not? It's a total waste of time. We need to hurry up because there's a bunch of other stuff I want to do today. And I kind of go back and kill Ganon and save the world and all that. I ain't got time to be delivering the rich people's mail, alright? Alright, shove this in the hole. Hey, you. Take this right now. That's right. Swallow it up like a dirty bitch you are. I mean, what? Ka-chunk! This postbox did drag this island. Postage is only five rubies. Oh, what? She did this while I have to pay for the postage myself? Do you want to send this now? Oh my god, this is why she did. She's so greedy and rich now, she's gonna make me spin on the postage. You gotta be kidding me. The city might be accepted for delivery. Thank you for using Island Post Service. We appreciate your business. Alright, fine. Let's go back to we delivered the letter. What are we gonna get for that? Heart piece or something? Something stupid? Maybe she'll actually give me something un unlike the other girl, right? Hopefully. <sighs> Hopefully you better give me something or I'll be mad at you. You're rich. I mean, you better not give me money because I can't hold money right now. And money's kind of useless right now. Is that girl still down there? She's like down there like waiting to rob the town. Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe that's why she didn't give me anything. I don't know. I don't know and I don't care. Or right, inside this house we go and talk to the rich people who were once poor and now assholes for some reason. What's going on? What? Uh, what's going on here? Hello? Hi. Honestly, you don't understand, do you? Open your ears. What are you doing here, bird man? Why is there a bird guy here? Is it the postman who's talking about? Silence, I'm telling you. Don't allow postman here. Be gone! Be gone! Why don't you like postman? Are you racist against bird people? Is that what it is, huh? Oh my god, goddamn racist. Don't be ridiculous. I went through the great trials of tribulation and go all the way to the Forsaken Forge to return with Moj Letter. Who's? Oh, you mean the Moblin? Silence! Be gone! Be gone! What's the matter? Then please, be reasonable. Can I at least sign with the letter? Oh my god. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! What's wrong with you, May? So goddamn racist. Your daughter's in love, man. You need to see that letter. Come on. Just acknowledge I was here. Come on, man. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Ugh! Foolish man. Now you make me angry. Can you look at you in the face any longer? I feel I might. What are you gonna do? I must go sit and cool my feathers. All right. Well, sorry about this dude's racism. Bye. But a wretched, I'm really postman. I don't want anybody, Mr. Mo, and forsaken fortune lady, could damn here bring me his letters. Come on, man. Jeez, stop being racist and just 
Just this mode. They think I'll let them lay a hand on my one and only Maggie. I don't care what Leslie are. They'll never reach her on my watch. Well, I guess that's kind of reasonable, because you don't want your freaking daughter getting mail for some evil, horrible mob that works for Ganon. No, you don't want that. No. That I can understand. Or I'm going to tell her to deliver the letter and whatever, and then I'll leave, because I don't care about you and your drama anymore. No drama. It's not relevant to me. Oh, Mo, My dear, sweet, burly Mo. Oh, when you responded to me. Tree do la la la! Yikes, that's an awful singing you got there. Alright, is that it? She didn't respond to anything, so I guess that's it. Alright, I don't care about your fucking lives anymore. Fuck you. Wait, ooh. ooh. Oh, I already did that, right? Uh, I already did that. What happens if I break these pots now? Does he care? Hey, you do, I, do you care if I break your pot? Are you an asshole, the last guy? Do you not care? Oh, he don't even care. Oh, never mind. This guy's a million times better than the last guy. I don't even care if I break his pots, man. He don't even care if I break his fucking dumb, stupid fucking pots. He's a better than the last guy. That other guy deserved to get poor then. Jeez, wouldn't even cool if I broke his expensive pots that are worth like a lot of money. What are you doing so loud here? I probably did it wrong, but I don't care. I'm not doing this shit again. I'm going to my last destination. I'm heading back to kill Ganon. It's what's happening, all right? No more distractions. Don't care about anyone's drama. I have other drama to deal with, all right? Have a, you know, an evil, weird pig demon guy, gr demon Grudo pig guy. Who uh, wants to take over the world and stuff. What's ever left of it, that is. Not much left of that world, to be honest, you know. Not much left of this world. So why do you want to take it over, huh? I mean, Gan probably wants to take it over because he want, probably wants to make it better or something. Maybe he's actually the good guy and we're the bad guys to try and stop him from making the world a better place. Because the way he was talking, he was like, The world is done and over. The world will never enter a new era of peace and prosperity and all that and whatever. So maybe Gan just wants to save the world, huh? Maybe he just wants to save the world. Maybe that's his deal and we're the bad people, huh? Both guy, you tricky me, man. You tricky me, huh? Are we the bad guys? You better tell me this. What's going on, boat guy? The robot is still calm and peaceful. But the future is bleak if Gan is able to absorb Zelda's powers. What will happen, huh? What's the worst he could do? What's the worst he could do, boat guy? What's he gonna do? Dickle P, he must return to Gan's tower as soon as your errands are complete. You must rescue yourself from Gan's clutches at all costs. All right, fine, I'll do that. Is there goop in my front lawn again? Ah, there's goop in my front lawn. I'm not going to miss you, goop. After this game is over, I'm not going to miss the goop. I'm absolutely done with the goop, all right? I don't, know, I don't know why I'm going up here. I want to go see the pig. Hello, Mr. Pig. What's up, Mr. Pig? What you doing? Why are you scared me, bro? Oh, my God, my controller's shaking again. This dude is so fat when he walks, my controller shakes. That's a, that's a good yo mama joke. Yo mama, so fat that when she walk my controller shake. That's how fat she is, bruh. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah, we're going to go see this guy. But no, seriously, that, that's a good yo mama joke. <laughs> uh, I'll just try that one sometimes. You know, don't tell yo mama jokes. Because they're for losers. Who the hell tells yo mama jokes? Losers like you people, right? Like you, old man. You probably, you be the type to tell yo mama jokes, right? Uh, we have not met for some time. Yep, you have not met for much time at all. Also, your mama so fat, then when she walked my controller, she had caught. Oh my god. Do you wish to fight me again? What do you say, Dickle P? Uh, no, that's not, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. This is all I can do for you, I'm afraid. Of course, you always have to face off once again. Aren't they supposed to give this guy, like, these things? Yeah, you want these things? These cool? You want them? What? Why, that's a nice crest. Why are you so excited about it, man? How many else do you have? Hup! Then I suppose the time's come for me to speak to you about the crests. Alright, what's what about them? What's so cool about them? Why'd you freak out and drop your little stick thing? The knight's crest is a symbol of the courageous knight. Alright, cool. Why, why should I care? Not just anyone can gather them. No, it takes soul, but it's not only power, but wisdom is courage as well. It wasn't in that hard, man. Those knights are kind of pushovers, to be honest, you know. They're not that good. I encourage you so guys, 10 of these crafts can learn new powerful sword technique. Oh, well, I have a lot more than 10, to be honest. Oh, I have a lot more than 10. Can I get anything better for getting, t like, 26 of them? But, my brother, I dreamt of learning these techniques in our youth. We worked so hard. We learned so hard. worked so hard to collect the crests. But it took many long years and adventures beyond count before we approached finding 10 of them. And we both grew old. Oh, no. You're too old to do anything now. 
It appears you have enough to learn, not have enough to learn that technique now. Perhaps, just perhaps, you can master it. All right, teach me the ways of the mystical technique thing, Bob. Very good, Tickle P. Heed my words. All right, I will heed them. Now give me your words so I can heed them. Oh, time to fight, I guess. Whatever. All right, he's going to teach me the ancient, horrible, not horrible, great and powerful move. Press B to build up power, then release it. Come on, not me now. I'll do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is the spin attack. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, all right, Jesus. All right, he should be dead, but somehow he's not dead. Was that it? Was that it? Was all it is? Can I get more moves? You learned the hurricane spin. All right, I'll learn the ultra Bakugan spin attack of doom. Great. Remember, it gives you his magic power. All right, good to know. Oh, did I? Oh, I, 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 oh, I thought I killed him, but no, he's just happy. He's happy because I mastered the move. He took he took like thousands of years to try to learn in a few seconds. That kind of sucks for you, doesn't it, old man? Even now, it's the hurricane spin. I only mastered it in like one try, man. Like, come on. At last, you made a long and hell dream come true. No, you know, if you want to learn it yourself, I have like a 10 extra you could have, bro. Oh, the joyful tears, they won't stop. Dude, you know, seriously, you want to learn it yourself. Yeah, I, 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 could, I could loan you some, you know. I thought my tears had dried up a long time ago. All right, cool. Are we done here? There's nothing left for me to teach you. I'm certain now you will save your sister Errol and bring home her home to outset. I mean, I kind of already did that whole entire thing like a long time ago. It's just the pirates refused to bring her back home for some reason. I don't know why they refused to do that, but they should have done that by now. All right, well, I already did that, but now I have other things to take care of. Like, you know, shoving the sword up an old man's butt. Ooh, I'm going to do the spin attack when I'm all up in there, man. Ooh, that's going to be some intense fighting right there. Or right, is that it? We done here? Are we done? Is that it? Ah, goop. You know what? You know what? You know what the first thing I'm going to do with this newfound power I have? Goop attack! Ha, ha, ha. There we go. Oh, I get dizzy. Oh, I get dizzy after using it. All right. Good to know. All right. That was a good use of my Hurricane Bakugan spin attack. Killing the goop that invades my island. Why is the goop like hanging out on my front lawn, huh? That's the worst place you can hang out, man. Because I hate you with every ounce of my soul. I decreed that Goop, I decreed as the Wind Waker, Hero of the Wind. Uh, do we go here? I think we go here. Hero of the Wind. The all Goop will be exterminated, not allowed anywhere on this ocean. We will hunt down the Goop and exterminate them all so they can no longer reproduce. How does Goop re reproduce anyway? Like, how, how do they, like, make more Goop? I don't want to know how Goop makes more Goop, to be honest. It's probably going to be very disgusting. All right, let's go down. Oh, we went to the wrong place. Frick. If we want to get there faster, we have to head this way. Well, this episode's kind of a total waste of time. Maybe we should have fought Ganon, because we did nothing of value whatsoever, to be honest. Whatever. Extra episode for no reason. Hooray. All right, teleport back where we actually need to go this time, all right? Where we actually need to go, which is not here. We don't need to be here. Wait, what? Ah! I forgot this thing was here. We can't get out of here from here. Great. More waste of my time. Oh, my God. Why is this here? Why isn't, like, a closer way to get there? Oh, God. We have to teleport to Tingle's Tower to get there. Ah! Great. Why isn't there, like, a teleport place, like, right to there? Why do we have to go there by foot? I'm too good to go there with my own two hands, all right? Jeez, it's gonna take forever now. Whatever, let's go with the fight again and kill him and beat the game and save the world. Finally beat this game. Which way are we supposed to go? Let's go to our map. I'm getting like, the sharks are trying to eat my butt now. Stop trying to eat me, shark people. Stop it. I don't want to deal with any old shark shit. No. Stop trying to eat me. I have to kill again. Save the world. And I can't do that if I'm in your digestive system, all right? I will not die until I shove this sword up that man's butthole. Can you stop it? Please, you're not, you're not even that good at trying to eat me, man. You, keep, you miss every single time. He's a very bad shark, huh? Ugh. My head hurts, man. Uh, my head hurts with the pain. 
of a thousand stars. Of all the stars in the sky, my head hurts more than all of them in the sky. I don't even know what that phrase means, but it means something. Are we there yet? Hey, bulk guy. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. It's stupid, though. This is taking forever. I'm getting very bored. Ah! Oh, God. Bomb barrels from nowhere, and I avoid them all. Everything's fine. I freaked out for nothing. Man, the delay on those bomb barrels is crazy. Oh, no. A storm. We're in stormy waters now. How awful. Our run was there. We're almost to where we need to be at. Ganon's little Forsaken Fortress Tower place where it's abandoned now for some reason. There's no one there. Because they all set up face in Hyrule Castle. How dare you do that, uh, Ganon? No doing that. It's rude. You, it's not your castle, man. You don't own it. It's not yours. You have to go. You, you can't be there, man. Go somewhere else. Find a different castle. Be out, alright? Alright. Alright, back down to the Dark Portal of Doom. And we go. Here we go. Hooray. Into the dark portal of doom. We did it. We're here. Back in the tower of Ganon. Alright, next episode. It's time. Once and for all. To slay Ganon by shoving the sword up his butt. And saving the world and all that other crap, you know? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this pointless episode of the Wind Waker HD. And in the next episode, we will head there. Kill Ganon. And save the world. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.